This car has been in great consumer demand literally since its inception. This is the fault, not only of the active, one might even say aggressive, advertising policy of the Korean company, but also of a very attractive price. At its core, the Hyundai Solaris is a replica of the fourth-generation Accent sedan for the Korean market. In Russia, the car was introduced in September 2010, and its production, and on a full cycle, for our market was organized near St. Petersburg. Vehicles with Russian registration have been modified to take into account difficult operating conditions, and the first car rolled off the assembly line in January 2011. A little later, the assembly of a five-door hatchback began. The Solaris was equipped with two petrol engines of 1.4 liters, 90 horsepower, and 1.6 liters, 123 horsepower, which were combined with a five-speed mechanics or a four-speed automatic. Both engines of the Gamma series are identical in design. In the timing drive, they use a seemingly eternal chain, which, alas, stretches after 100,000 kilometers, which can lead not only to failures in the valve timing system, but also to a meeting of valves with pistons. Therefore, you should change the chain at the first sign of wear. On hackneyed specimens, oil often leaks from under the valve cover, through the front and rear crankshaft oil seals. In addition, the head gasket may need to be replaced. The motors work great on both high-quality 95th and 92nd gasoline. However, due to poor fuel, the throttle valve quickly becomes clogged. And on a 1.4-liter engine, even cases of premature, 40 to 70,000 kilometers, failure of the catalytic converter are known. Dealerships are expensive to replace. Interestingly, a more powerful unit does not suffer from such an ailment. In a manual box, after 70,000 kilometers, turning on the third gear becomes more and more difficult, up to a characteristic crunch. It's not worth pulling with the repair, otherwise you will have to buy a new box. A repair with the replacement of the gear, the synchronizer clutch and the blocking ring of the third stage will require 15,000 rubles. The clutch averages 130,000 kilometers or more. The assembly is changed as a set, clutch basket, release bearing and disc. And do not rush to look for money for new front hub bearings, the play in which sometimes appears at 30,000 kilometers. It is usually enough to tighten the drive shaft nuts, their tightening is weakened due to a warm plastic washer between the drive and the hub. In the machine, every 70,000 kilometers, branded oil should be updated. And then the automatic transmission will serve properly. The Solaris suspension has weak rear springs and shock absorbers, because of which the first cars did not hold the high-speed straight line well. In addition, with the full load, the suspension often pierced on bumps. At the end of 2011, modernized shock absorbers were installed on the car, with which Solaris drove more adequately. But the remaining elements of the chassis are durable. In steering, the two main weaknesses are the rack and power steering pump. Dealers often change these nodes under warranty. But for the second owner of Solaris, replacing only the rails will already cost a tidy sum. Body. Resists corrosion well. True, due to chips, some of its elements may bloom and the paintwork is not the most resistant. Sometimes the coating on chrome parts shrinks and falls off in patches. Front suspension. Quite steadfastly endures the hardships of Russian exploitation. The first in it to 30,000 to 50,000 kilometers are the stabilizer struts, 950 rubles each. Shock absorbers, 4,500 rubles each, last up to 80,000 kilometers. As a rule, ball bearings, 1500 rubles each, and wheel bearings, 3000 rubles each, fail at the same time. In the rear suspension, on early cars, the springs quickly sagged, 2500 rubles each. When driving through irregularities at high speed, standard shock absorbers, 3000 rubles each, allowed a strong buildup of the body. But it was enough to replace them with the high quality, non original, and the problem was solved. Engine. Both 1.4 and 1.6 liter gasoline engines are identical in design, but a more powerful unit is more reliable. The base engine had a catalytic converter failure. After hundreds of thousands of kilometers, both fours may leak gaskets, seals and seals, the replacement of which, however, is not so expensive. On the oldest specimens, radiators die from 8,500 rubles. But recently, inexpensive domestic substitutes have appeared. Transmission. The automatic transmission is very reliable, its maintenance is reduced only to a periodic oil change. But the, the mechanics may require repairs, from 15,000 rubles, 
to a mileage of 100,000 kilometers. A little longer, about 120,000 to 150,000 kilometers, the clutch serves, which changes as an assembly for an average of 8,500 rubles.